bitter cold weather continues across the valley, although we did see temperatures rise to heights they haven't for a little while and single digits below zero for many of us and heading into the evening. We're back in the teens below zero in a few places like Gwinter, 13 below, 11 below in Langdon and out to the east. We have 11 below in Fergus Falls. Bedette cooling off to four below zero after hitting zero here moments ago. Wind chills between 20 and 35 below across our region. And uh, wind is still going to be a factor during the overnight hours. But look how far south this cold air has punched all the way down to the Gulf Coast states where it's freezing in San Antonio this hour. Those Rocky Mountains kind of act to direct that cold pool of air toward the nation's midsection and points east. If you're west of the Rockies, that's the warmest spot in the country minus our friends in Miami who are not feeling the effects of this as yet. A hard freeze warning for the Gulf Coast states does continue. Now, taking a look at that wind chill advisory for us uh, is in effect until the early hours of the day tomorrow. Clear skies and quiet conditions over most of the U.S. minus a few lake effect snow showers in the Great Lakes region. Clear skies providing that beautiful view of the full moon. Wind chills to 40 below across our area and the hour by hour forecast shows that by 10 o'clock the temperatures do not change too much. We'll dip down in the early overnight hours to those 5 to 15 below readings out there. But by morning, the wind really increases from the southwest. And that means even though our temperatures won't be as cold, no 20s and 30s below, the wind chills will be quite brutal to start your day on your way out back to school, kids. Now see this band of snow up to the north and west. Watch what it does as we go through the day. Morning wind chills 30 below. The wind gusts over 20 miles per hour as a band of snow will briefly move over our area in the midday hour for Fargo and will continue its trek to the south and east. Once it makes its way through, though, temperatures warm up a bit, 5 to 15 above for most locations, but it won't feel that warm because those winds will still be pretty brisk. And because they're out of the northwest, we cool right back down. Here is a look at your planner for Fargo. 10 below with about a 30 below wind chill first thing of the morning. Temperatures warming up into the teens. Best chance of snow in that midday hour for the FM area. And then some partial clearing late in the day. Temperatures in the single digits on your way home from school in Roseau. Devil's Lake 12 and out in Fergus Falls 10 degrees for your afternoon temperature. Take a look at what this cold air does. This is along a river. And some air bubbles trapped under there kind of burp up through the ice and well, now that water builds up and ice spike. Thanks, Rick, for a great photo there. Southeast North Dakota and the moon rise look like this over War Road. David uploading a dandy. Here's your planning forecast. OK, we talked about tomorrow warmer with a few flakes under a half inch for most up to an inch for some back down in the deep freeze for Wednesday. Kind of chilly out there, but not as cold as we've been. Then a nice little warming trend after a brutal Thursday morning. We'll see temperatures climb into the teens and 20s for the weekend. Late weekend chance of snow into early next week. If you're heading to Frisco, plan on morning temperatures on Saturday. Down around freezing that far south. But afternoon temperatures making it all the way up to 50. And that's about 70 degrees warmer than the temperatures we've mm -hmm. had around here the last few and days. 21, that's shorts weather, right? Flip-flops. Yeah, short something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You bet.